Ron DeSantis said something recently that might be disastrous for the Florida housing market, future Florida home buyers, and current homeowners here in Florida. Now, we all know that the insurance industry is a nightmare. Insurance companies are going out of business. They're dropping people like flies. I think Progressive dropped like 100,000 uh, people this year, something crazy like that. But, okay, the worst of this insurance crisis here in Florida is yet to come. And that's what I'm gonna talk about today. All right, now I know that insurance is crazy all over the country, not just Florida, but I am a Florida real estate investor. I'm a homeowner here in Florida. I own rental properties and I sell uh, real estate. So we're gonna talk about Florida because it's kind of crazy right now. Now, before I get into what DeSantis said, I wanna set this up for you so you can better understand it. There is an insurance crisis here in Florida. Now, a lot of that has to do with the disastrous Hurricane Ian that hit Southwest Florida. Uh, also, it has to do with the cost to repair and renovate homes have gone through the roof. So what does that ha What happens when uh, cost goes up? These companies have to raise their premiums. And so then when a massive hurricane hits the coast of Florida, what happens? Those uh, insurance companies are like, oh my goodness, we're screwed. We gotta raise premiums even more so that we don't go out of business and that's what happened. They ended up having to go out of business and drop people. So it is uh, really a crisis here in Florida. Insurance companies simply aren't solvent, okay? But here is the saving grace. There's always been one saving grace here in Florida and that is citizens property insurance, okay? Citizens is like the official insurance company of Florida. It's called Citizens of the Last Resort. We are here to save you if uh, there is really tough times here in Florida. Now, Citizens is actually backed by the state of Florida. So it's supposed to give people peace of mind. That means that the state of Florida has their back if they get in trouble. And so uh, I myself have citizens property insurance. And what I'm about to tell you today is actually something that happened to me recently. So this is a personal experience that I've had. All right. And it was, it was kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. It was, I was like, whoa, hold up. I thought that I was in a little more of a secure position than what I'm currently in. So here's the deal. When you get citizens, they tell you that once you're in the club, you ain't never getting out. We got you, which is a good thing. That means that they're not going to drop you. They're like, we got you back. You're in the club now. You're one of the boys. We're not going to drop you. There's nothing. You, once you're in, you're in. Okay. I'm like, all right, well, that sounds good. I'm paying a little bit more for citizens, but I kind of want the security because I live on the coast. All right. If a big hurricane hits the area, I want to know that I'm going to get my house paid for. So I signed up for citizens and I was under the impression that I was good. Not going to drop you. I'm going to tie this all together here as to how this is going to affect you in Florida and what Ron DeSantis recently said, because this is kind of wild. Okay. So here's what happened. All right, I receive a letter in the mail. It wasn't a nice letter from citizens, and it was a depopulation letter. Now, if you don't know what a depopulation letter is, it's just that, they're trying to get rid of people. I was like, wait, hold up. I thought citizens couldn't drop me. Well, this depopulation letter, let me read it to you right here, okay? Let me read you exactly what it said. You have received an offer of property insurance coverage from one or more private market insurance uh, companies participating in citizens depopulation program. As required by Florida law, the policy is ineligible to renew with citizens because at least one of these offers has an estimated renewal premium that is not more than 20% greater than the estimated citizens renewal premium for comparable coverage. Maybe I should have known that this could happen, but I didn't because I was told up front that they can't drop you. So I get this depopulation letter and I'm like, man, this is, this is wild. Like I didn't know that I could be dropped and now I'm being dropped to a company that I don't necessarily trust. I don't know anything about. Here is the crazy thing. I got a second letter in the mail and this was another depopulation letter. And this letter was a little different. It actually gave me a choice. It said, 
you can either accept to go with this company or you can stay with Citizen. So I'm super confused at this point. So I call my uh, insurance broker and he's like, hold on, let me see. He's like, yeah. It's like Citizens has been sending these depopulation letters. Sorry. He's like, let me see what we can do. Well, it turns out he had to really fight for me to be able to continue using Citizens. And so I ended up having to pay a lot of money, I had to do a lot of repairs on my house that weren't necessary, I had to get new inspections, all kind of stuff on my home, a lot of unnecessary stuff and unnecessary spending just to keep a policy that continues to go up every year. So comment below, before I get into what DeSantis said, comment below, let me know if you've ever uh, had one of those depopulation letters from citizens, because uh, I'm gonna tell you what it what it can what can happen with that and what it can mean because it's kind of crazy now i want you to listen to this news clip real quick governor ron DeSantis is raising more questions about the state's insurer of last resort citizens property insurance ahead of what's expected to be an active storm season i'm jessica bruno continuing our coverage of the state's coverage collapse and sky high home insurance premiums right the governor recently told cnbc the state insurer is not solvent and has Having millions of people insured with citizens when a storm hits would cause problems for the state. This comes as citizens is shedding thousands of policies and private companies are taking those over, often at a similar or a higher rate than citizens. He's on track. If we have a major hit in Florida, for example, that takes out a lot of the citizens policyholders, there would be an assessment. That's the way that citizens work. My takeaway from that is citizens isn't solvent. Which means, which blow, blows my mind because I thought they were supposed to be backed by Florida. So if they're not solvent, that just means that they are going to have a really tough time paying claims if we get another major hurricane. We're hearing all this going into hurricane season and the projections right now are that it's going to be one of the worst hurricane seasons that we've had in a very long time. Now, I hate to bring that kind of news to you guys. I'm, you, you know, I, I don't like talking about this stuff, really. I'm a very positive person. And if you look at this channel, I first started out talking about all the good things about Florida, because there is like a lot of great things, the nature, the fishing, the scenery, uh, the beaches. There's a lot of good stuff about Florida, but there's also a lot of really unfortunate stuff going on right now that, me, as a real estate professional, I think I've got to bring that to you guys. I can't just sit here and say, buy a house in Florida, it's gonna be a piece of cake. If I did that, I would be lying to you. And so I, I don't wanna do that. I have to tell you what's really going on. And I'm doing that through my own personal experiences. Like this video was created because of a personal experience I had, not a professional, not a business experience an actual personal experience as a homeowner in Florida that could really affect me. And here are ways that it can affect you, which is kind of crazy. So let's say that a hurricane does hit and citizens cannot cover it. Or um, let's say that you get dropped by citizens and the, the, uh, the company that picks you up, you don't know anything about that company and they can't, uh, they end up dropping you or they can't cover any damages. It's unfortunate, but right now in Florida, we're almost having to self-insure to guarantee uh, any security. So it's like, okay, if something happens and I get my roof blown off, I'm pretty confident that I'm going to have to pay for a new roof myself and put it back on because I'm going to be waiting six months to a year to get a new roof if I go through the insurance company and then I'm not even 100% sure if I'm going to get it paid for. That's the crisis that we're currently in. We're currently paying five to ten to fifteen thousand dollars a year for insurance coverage and there's a very good chance we're not even going to get our claims covered if something crazy does happen. I encourage y'all to go watch my video. Um, I will link it in the description titled, Banks are taking people's houses because of this. And it's an insurance video and it really explains what can happen to you if these companies start dropping people, which they are, they are dropping people. And I go over some real experiences as to what has happened to people here in Florida that have been dropped. And so it's kind of crazy. And if you wanna learn anything about what's going on here in Florida, I encourage you to go watch that video. Now, here's another thing that I haven't even mentioned yet. If we do get a hurricane, which we, again, we're going right into hurricane season right now. If we do get a hurricane here in Florida, 
what are premiums going to be moving forward? They're just going to continue going up. And I get it. Uh, and it, it's going to, and you know, when you get a hurricane, a lot of people don't realize this, but when a hurricane hits a certain area, it affects the whole state. It doesn't just affect that one area. Obviously, it affects that area worse because that area is getting a ton of damage. But everybody in the state ends up having to pay for it. Everybody's premiums end up going up because they we end up having to pay for all of the claims because so that the insurance companies can stay in business and what's crazy is these insurance companies it looks from the outside looking in it's like these insurance companies are scammers which I get that there are a lot of scam and scammers out there but let's say the insurance companies are actually trying to do good um, their backs are against the wall right now so folks if you get any value at all from these videos let me know uh, again, I work in real estate here in the state of Florida. If uh, you're thinking about buying a house here in Florida, you know, it's not an ideal time right now. It's, it's not an ideal time to really buy a house anywhere right now. Surely, if you have to move, there are ways that you can uh, make it better for yourself. But I'm not going to sit here and tell you that moving to Florida is, is easy right now. It's not easy. There's nothing easy about it. Everything is overpriced and, uh, you know, from your house, your insurance, your taxes, your everyday cost of living, average monthly mortgage payments right now are at a historical high. And so uh, I'm a real estate agent and I'm telling you, if you're trying to move to Florida right now, you may want to sit back and let this election year play out and let's see what happens because uh, it, election years can get crazy. And if there is a change or you never know, you never know. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm not, uh, I can't, I can't, I wish I could predict the future, but I can't. If I were wanting to buy a house right now in the state of Florida, I would probably, uh, I might would just wait and see what happens. But I'm here to give you updates every week as to what's going on here around the state of Florida and the country through this crazy time that we're living in, folks. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so yet. We'll catch you next time.